There's so much disease these days, so much diabetes, so much atherosclerosis, so much cancer, so much osteoporosis, syndromes, colitis, syndromes of all sorts and itis of all sorts. Itis is what you put on the end of things like colitis or meningitis and things like that. It basically means inflammation of whatever part of the body you name there. So, so much inflammation, so much sickness and I wonder why. Well, I'm sure a small amount of the cases can be attributed to specific conditions like say your genes cause you to have a specific kind of syndrome that you can't really do much about or some kind of specific influence or substance that you might be exposed to that cause some kind of illness but I think most of today's problems most of the health issues people are having stems from overlooking some of the most fundamental most basic elements of health we overlook things like sleep, for example, or diet and lifestyle, like say sleep. If you're underslept, you cannot avoid a certain amount of depression. I don't know if you ever tried like going on a long flight and not getting any sleep, and going for two days straight with no sleep, something like that. How do you feel? You feel depressed. You feel tired, without motivation, everything is kind of like, eh, you don't want to do anything, you just kind of like, uh. you go through periods of being like, kind of like high and wired, and then you go through periods of being like really depressed, and what you really need is just to sleep, right? And when you, once you get that sleep again, a couple of days, of, a couple of nights of good sleep, you feel good again, right? No more depression. If I went to the doctor and were like, hey man, I... I got these and these and these symptoms. I'm tired, I'm depressed, I'm just feeling like crap, I want to hit someone, I'm so angry, I'm so... all these things. Without like taking my history and saying like, have you been awake for two days? He'd be like, oh, that something doesn't sound good. It sounds like you're depressed or, you know, I might put you on this pill or something like that. But actually it's just because I've been two days without sleeping. And of course, we don't normally go two days without sleeping, but we might go two hours without sleeping like we might have two hours uh, we need we might be underslept by two hours every night every night of our life two hours too little or three or four or five and to the degree that you undersleep you will experience those symptoms like depression like lack of motivation like not as good physical performance in terms of sports and stuff if you don't sleep you won't be able to perform no no way every athlete knows this you need to sleep if you want to perform day before a big marathon you sleep it's important before we start taking like dangerous medication to control our symptoms why not look at why are we depressed in the first place and then let's start with the most fundamental principles let's not start looking like maybe I'm depressed because uh, because there might be some radiation in this particular area there might be something that influences my chemical balance that's possible but let's first just try and look at the most basic things are you sleeping enough well if not try sleeping enough and see if that works all right next thing what about diet can you be happy and not depressed not sick if you're eating crappy foods no you need to eat appropriate foods for your body so let's cut out all that crap and start eating whole fresh ripe raw organic plants what we're biologically supposed to eat that might eliminate lots of problems diabetes too much fat in the diet cut out cut down the fat diabetes goes away very simple it's not that you're you got a case of diabetes. Oh my God. Diabetes came flying through the air, enter your mouth or your air, and now you're stuck with diabetes. It's not like that. No. Diabetes is something you are causing every single time you're eating. 
it's your lifestyle on an everyday basis that is causing diabetes and as long as you keep causing it you will keep having diabetes it's more like diabetes is not really a sickness it's more like a verb you are diabetesing you're diabetesing I'm cancering right like it's it's not it doesn't come the disease doesn't come from the outside in the disease is created by disobeying the laws of nature we're supposed to sleep a certain amount if we cut ourselves short what's gonna happen what is gonna fail what's that called the disease to the degree that we're neglecting the basic elements of health we will be sick it's very obvious just eat more fruits and vegetables all right simple get that out of the way what about water are you drinking enough water well if you're not drinking enough water and you're dehydrated well there's a host of problems that that comes with dehydration not to speak of death you can die from dehydration probably unlikely that it's gonna get that severe right unless you're out in the desert or something but that's the end of the spectrum death from dehydration and then the other end of the spectrum is proper hydration healthy levels of hydration and all between there there's a continuum of losing your health there's just proper hydration and from that there onwards there's gonna be improper hydration and to the degree that you are dehydrated, you will have symptoms of disease. So maybe you're not, maybe you don't have this special syndrome with this real complex name. Maybe you're just dehydrated. Maybe you haven't drunk enough water. Maybe you're just underslept, right? Maybe you're eating too many foods that are inflammatory, that makes your body react with an inflammation response cooked food when ingested the body mounts a response of white blood cells in defense to the cooked food the, 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 the body is literally reacting to the food as poison as an intruder so maybe all or most of our problems health problems are stemming from these basic principles you tell me what you think all right thanks for watching I appreciate you watching these videos if you made it this far then awesome subscribe if you want more videos and post your comments and criticism down below and I'll be happy to see you in the next video although I can't really see you but you can see me all right.